Hi, I'm Vincent Ferre. I'm the Urban Forest Manager for Arlington County. Today I'm talking about a study we did with a higher level of accuracy showing our tree canopy in Arlington County and showing how that tree canopy can be reached through conservation of existing trees and uh, supporting our planted trees as well. Our tree canopy is really important to us because it makes us happier and healthier as a community, it helps filter air and water pollution, as well as uh, provide habitat for our native wildlife. So our study studies tree canopy, which is the leaves, branches, and trunk of all the trees across the county. We analyzed the tree canopy for 2014, 2018, and 2023. We did that because that allows us to use the same methods to have kind of an apples to apples comparison between those years and get a really good understanding of the trends of our tree canopy. We worked with our contractor, Davy Resource Group, to analyze elevation data, also known as LIDAR data, and color in our aerial imagery to pull out tree canopy from Arlington County as part of our land cover data set. This was then checked for accuracy to get to a level of 99% accuracy. And what that means is that there's very little error in this analysis for every single year that we analyzed for 2014, 2018, and 2023. So what did we find with this study? We found that between 2014 and 2023, we had a slight increase from 32% to 35% of our tree canopy. This was really due to people and our organizations conserving existing trees as much as possible from construction and just having trees in your front and backyard and taking good care of them. We also had planting programs on public and private property, which are starting to show their fruit, pun intended, where people have worked with our tree canopy fund and just private tree planting, you can just go to a nursery and pick up a tree in and help us with our collective goals to reach that 40%. Uh, we did have some examples of uh, increase in our parks, uh, such as Eads Park showing significant expansion, some private development. There's a really good example near the county headquarters in denser area of Arlington, where we have a new public space that expanded quite a bit. And we worked with Metropolitan Park to create new tree canopy in National Landing as well. And then we have some examples where some large projects have reduced tree canopy in certain neighborhoods. Uh, Foxcroft Heights and Terra Leeway Heights are two civic associations which showed some decline in our tree canopy from private tree removal, some development, expansion of existing facilities, and other, other reasons. But overall on the county-wide level, we see this increase uh, in a very clear way. Uh, and we can continue to work, to work from 35% to our goal of 40%, which is really what makes a healthy community work. So technology has improved a lot and since we last did studies, even when the first study was done in 2008 and our last study was done in 2016. These studies uh, largely didn't use uh, LIDAR or elevation data and suffered from some issues with the angle at which the uh, image was taken, causing overestimation of tree canopy. So those studies showed uh, shady areas as trees where they shouldn't have been caught uh, as, as tree canopy. We are going to look at the entire county and find places that have low tree canopy or places that are called tree equity areas. These are areas that are historically somewhat underserved or may have low tree canopy and could benefit from more. Uh, we will work with neighbors and our partners in EcoAction Arlington and tree stewards to get trees planted on public and private property and work to maintain trees as much as we are able to. Residents can use this data to communicate with their neighbors on the value of trees and work together to get your uh, neighborhood looking greener. If you want to learn more about our programs, you can go to arlingtonva.us and search for urban forestry.